Your DCA bot is performing well. Good job. But could it perform better? I think so. And I want to show you a couple of things that you can investigate and check and see with the DCA back tester. Hey guys, it's me, Win and Papa. I have courses on thebettertraders.com and I'm also a three commas ambassador. So here on Trading View, what I want to explain is that when you have really good settings, and to me, these are good settings. I know that this net profit is not incredible. I don't really care. What I care about is a steady flow, steady and up and to the right. But I do admit that this could be way more active. I mean, this is incredible and it's doing a fantastic job, but couldn't it be better? So a couple of the things that I do is I always want to find the best settings with the least amount of drawdown, the least amount of time that I'm waiting in between deals. It's way better to have a bot performing closing deals at least every single day, because if you can enable compounding, that's going to grow your account significantly over the next 30 days. So with these settings, while they're okay, while they're satisfactory, they're not performing as well as I want them to, especially given the fact that this chart for power has just been insane. I mean, it's had this huge pump. It's just been doing an incredible job. So what I want to do is I want to figure out, can we take advantage of all of the craziness that we've seen and are seeing now and get some more bots running? So I think so. So the first thing I do is I consider the time frame. Right now, 30 minutes, that's the default that I have, but could it run better? So what I like to do is I leave the same deal start condition on, as crazy as it sounds, and then I just work my way down in bigger increments. I try to see if lowering it down to 25, you know, by five minute increments, is that going to increase the profitability? And this does. There are more closed trades. There's a higher net profit. So I'm going to keep going down to see. And the reason why it's gone up, keep an eye on the total closed trades, because if we have more totals, sorry, total closed trades happening for our bot, then that should mean that the profitability goes up. Notice that it's not going up as high here. Now, a couple of things that we could do to change that, of course, is to adjust our deal start condition, which I want to talk about. But here, this is getting better. I like this already a lot more. I want to see how fast can we get this and how much action can we get happen on here? See the huge drop, sorry, the huge jump right there. Net profit is now 11% compared to, I think it was at nine something percent or eight. Yeah. So going down to the 10 minute time frame already works way better for this. This is already looking really good. I could even try the five minute time frame to see, is this going to be helpful? Now I know it's not going to change that. Oh, wow. Okay. That changed a lot more. So we're going to stick with the five minute time frame. So that's the first good thing that's happening. Now, the beauty of using this back tester, and I, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to say this. The only way that you can access this back tester, the DCA back tester pro is by taking mastering passive income, but don't freak out. You can actually get the standard version of the DCA back tester when you join the better traders club. And this is just one of so many tools and signals and live streams. And ugh, there's a ton of stuff. So this is just one offering in the Better Traders Club. So if you want to check that out, click on the link that's going to pop up right here, or you can click the link that's in the description of the video. So this is all applicable to people that are in the club and people that are not in the club. But one of the things that I love the most about the DCA Backtester is that I can visually see where I have my orders start, where I'm taking profit, because this is power. Having information is power, mainly because of this. This honestly is super duper annoying, knowing that you could have closed this bot deal if you just dropped your take profit by a little bit. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go here into the inputs of the pro. And the only reason why I'm using the pro is because that's the one I gave myself access to. Um, so I'm not using anything fancy schmancy from the pro version of this. I'm using the standard. So what I want to do is I want to come down here to target profit and I'm going to chop that down to 2.5. What it's going to do is it's going to reduce my net profit and it might increase my total close trades. So yeah, it was at 15 before, but now it's at 13. But you know what? More total close trades when compounded actually will grow your account significantly. It's actually better to do that. One other thing that I could see as well is when I just take a quick scan of the chart to see how it's going, I want you to pay attention to see how many times do you see 
orders closing with just the base order. And that's the primary order that they call on three commas. The majority of these are closing with the base order. Here we have safety one, safety two. And this is a hanging deal that lasts for a long time. Things like this are a little bit irksome, but to be honest, if you watch the videos and you know this works, then you know that you would just place another safety trade order even after the dump, placing it here, you would exit out quicker with more profit and then we go on. And yes, we have this mega pump, that's true too. Okay, so let's go back here and see. For the most part, we don't see a lot of safety order twos. We see a lot of base orders. And what typically happens is about 70%, 60 to 70% of the time, most of your bot deals are gonna close with the base order. And if you're using two safety trades, it's gonna be one seventh of what your total amount would be, your total used volume. I know this is crazy, but trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. This is how it works. So while you're seeing lots of deals closed, because the majority of these deals are being distributed the way that they are here with the base order and safety order size. So base order is one, safety order is two. So total volume would be 0.3 and then adding an additional one, which we have two right here. So that would be four. That's why I say it's one seventh. Um, that's why I have it set up this way. So I'll show you something else to consider when you're checking your bot settings. Now this might be disastrous, but reducing the max active safeties means that you will be, you will actually be making more. Now you see it dropped, but that's because I didn't change this. So one plus two is three base order, safety order. That means I have one safety trade. That means if I want to see how this would accurately be reflected in my account, I drop this, my initial capital down to 0.3. This is using the entire available amount. Now we're going to see net profit jump up to 28%. It's all about the math. It's all about how this works. So with this, now I can see, wow, I could have exited out of this hanging deal by doing one of two things. One, increase the target profit. Remember, now I've taken away one of my safety trades. Now I just have one, but we can see that this is way more profitable. And because we know that most of the time we're not going to see our second safety, our second safety trade enabled, then it makes sense to do one of two things. One, we adjust our safety order position. So we can we can lower this. So I'm gonna go down here and change it to six. Now this will change our numbers. Let's see, for sure, this is gonna get closed and then there'll be another hanging deal right about here. So now it's 31% and then we have 40. Actually, this is pretty good. It handled this drop, but it's thanks to a scam pump right there. So it's not completely accurate. And here we miss out. And right here we miss out. And here and here and here. And here we're still left hanging. That's that's okay. That's how it goes. So there is that option though. And if you don't want to take away safety trades, then we're going to have to bring this back to 0.7. It shouldn't have been a 0.1. It should be a 0.7. Because that way it's using 100% of the available funds. So this would be a different number, 14%. So now I have uh, my two safety trades there. One thing that you can do as well is of course, you always have to look at the chart to figure out what would be better. And you'd be surprised at how many times reducing your price deviation works. This actually increases profitability. Why? Well, if your price deviation is tighter or closer to your base order, that means you're going to be using it more. Remember, if you have two safety trades, and before we were seeing most of our trades or deals close with our base order, that's one seventh of the amount of volume. But if we have base and safety one, then that would be 0.3. So that would be a lot more, it'd be 21% more. So we're seeing a lot or rather a bigger increase in net profit because we've changed that. Let me actually, I didn't check the numbers. I was talking too much. Um, let's see where it was. 14. Uh huh. So this isn't a surprise to me. Um, I just want to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks. These are the things that I'm teaching people in the Better Traders Club. And I want to help you all out to see what's possible when you understand how to do this. So now I can see by reducing my safety order percentage that for the most part, it's pretty good. Now, here's the thing, though. When we have this happen, then we're just kind of left hanging. And this is, again, look right here. I haven't changed the deal start condition at all. So what could I do? Well, I'm going to reduce my target profit down to 
it is going to reduce my net profit. It will increase my total closed trades. Maybe not by a huge amount, but I want to see this is actually, yeah, 76 closed trades. That's really, really good. It means that I'm taking profit earlier, but if I know I'm taking profit earlier, I would be much more open to the idea of using trailing take profit. If I am maxing everything out and I see for the most part, tailing, uh, take profit here, take profit here, take profit here. I'm not going to want to use trailing. But for this, look, it actually closed out really well. And it closed. These are really good. This is actually really good settings. But unfortunately, right here, it stopped. What made it stop? Well, it could be the deal start condition. So now is the fun part where I start playing with this. But I don't even want to get there. Um, I want to just spend some time sharing about why I'm making decisions I'm making, why am I adjusting these certain things, and what do I look at, and how do I improve a DCA bot to be more profitable after getting more data? The main thing that's going to be helpful for you to know uh, or to understand about DCA bots and DCA backtesters is that you want the strategy, uh, the overview and the strategy to go up and to the right slowly. You don't want any peaks and valleys. You want it to just be generally up and to the right slowly. And you want to aim for at least 100 closed trades. That's going to give you the most data. That's going to be the most reliable. That's going to help you understand that this is going to be a profitable strategy. And you want to have a longer amount of time to run the bot, preferably with a huge recent dip. Because if your DCA backtester can weather a dip and be profitable at the same time and come out the other end profitable, you know it's going to be some great settings. So if you want access to this, again, there is just so much extra on top of this, but I wanted to reiterate the power of the DCA Backtester tool, the strategy that's available through the Better Traders Club. So again, in the link below in the description of this video, you can go to the Better Traders Club and sign up now. We have live streams, we have tons of other tools, we have tons of other indicators. You're going to love it. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.